in the last episode we were able to add an item to cut and we had an issue so if i add add cut again you'll see that we are duplicating that product instead of maybe increasing its quantity so that is one of the solution but the other solution is that we can just show a different button here of view cut once we add the product cut and i'll go with the second solution of showing view cut right here so i think that is easier so what i'll do i'll come back right here and what we will do here is to add some form of state that will help us decide whether we already have this product in cut or not so we'll say const we will say is product in cut and we'll set is product in cut and here i said this to equal to use state we invoke it and by default we'll have false now we should be performing some checks for us to update this state uh, whether the product is in cut or not so what we'll do we'll come right here and we'll make use of the use effect hook so whenever the component loads uh, we'll be able to check if that product is already in cut or not so i invoke this we pass an arrow function and it expects us to also pass a dependency array and the dependency array for this one will include our cut products now right here to begin with we'll make sure to reset our is product in cut by coding set product in cut and we set it to false and then right here we'll perform a check do we have cut products now if we do we'll go ahead and write some logic right here we will use an array method to check if this product is already in our cut products so and the array method that we will use is the find index we will find the index of that product in our cut products if we find a value that is greater than negative one that means that it exists else it doesn't exist so here we say const existing index will be equal to our cut products dot find index and we invoke this so here we'll pass an arrow function that will receive a product at a time we can call that product an item and we we'll return the index of the item if the item dot id is equal to the current product dot id if this does not exist what we will do is that this method will return negative one if it doesn't find any index okay so here we now have an existing index and we'll perform another check if the existing index is greater than negative one that means that we have an item in the cut so here we will update our state of set is product in cut to true and i save so this is our logic of checking whether we have that item in cut or not and now our state will be able to tell us whether we have it or not so i'll copy this is product in cut and we will use that to dynamically display our ui uh, we will hide set color we'll hide set quantity and the button here if we have that product in cut and therefore after our horizontal here i'll reuse these curly brackets and i'll say is product in cut and we'll use a question mark here and here we will display a button that says view cut and maybe some other ui like product added to cut so here we'll have that else we'll have some more react fragments like that so i want to include all this right here up to our button i cut all that to be inside here so if product is in cut we hide all this i save and here we'll show something else so right now it should actually be able to hide let's see so look if we refresh we have them if i click add we hide awesome it's working actually so here we just need to show some different ui okay so here we'll have a paragraph to start with and this paragraph will have two things an icon and a span 
So let's start with a span. The span will say uh, product added to cart. And right here we'll have an icon. So I'll say MD, we'll say check circle. So I'll click this to auto import it from React icons. So this one here, awesome. Let's come back right here. We cross this one. It can accept a prop of size and I'll set this one to 20. And also it can accept a class name and we'll set the color to text of teal 400, which is greenish. And also this paragraph right here, we can add some class name and we'll add margin to the bottom of two and then we'll change text color to text straight 500. We'll flex the items and we'll make sure that we align them nicely. So items center and then let's have a gap of just one. Now this is only the text and if I save we should see a message here product added to cut with this icon. Now we can add a button that says view cut. So down here after our paragraph we'll have a div and here we'll show our button component. So button and this expect us to have a label and we'll say view cut. We can optionally pass an outline. It expects us to have an on click event. And for this on click, we'll make use of React Router to navigate to our cut. So first of all, let me cross this button using this and this. Then uh, have we defined a router before? We haven't. So after our state here, we can say const router will be equal to use router and that will come from our navigation and we invoke it. Now we can make use of this router down here. I can include these brackets and I'll say router dot push and we make sure that it goes to our stroke cut like that and I save. So we already have this cut page so it will take us there. Awesome. So let's see what we have and there we go. It is stretching all through so we can minimize that by adding a cross name here similar to this one. So let's just copy this one and paste it here and I save. Now let's see. It's shorter. Awesome. Okay. Now this is our page here. Let's refresh. We can select color and quantity add to cut and look we change the UI to product added to cut and we have view cut. So I click view cut and we get to our cut page. So here you'll be able to list the different items. Okay. Now before we list them I want us to add persistency of our items in the cut. So we will do that using the local storage and let's do that in the next episode.